Um, let's get away from that. Uh, let's speak about another player who I have enjoyed watching this season a lot. Um, no prizes for guessing, Rhys James. Mm, yeah. um, <laughs> to be honest, to I almost didn't put him because I feel like Rhys James is a senior senior pro, right? <laughs> I mean, one Champions League, like it's almost like buyer in the in the conversation. Mm. But we are talking about not young players. We're talking about players that have impressed the most. Mm. Um, it's funny to say a player has a better season when they just won the Champions League, right? Because I mean, they, he's just won the Champions League, you know. But I think what he's having now at the moment is a cracker. Um, I think about the best right backs in the world. And obviously, the first person that comes to my mind is Hashaf Hakimi. Hakimi. You know, that kid plays Best like wing a backs. wing back. Yeah, he plays like a Ferrari. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> his 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 stop to start speed is is he goes from zero to hundred uh, Mercedes like, he, Mercedes like, you know, level he, and he goes he like that like level to the ninetieth minute. Yep, his fitness is incredible as well. Oh, um, not quite sure why why does James does Morocco. that. Not not as quick as Hashaf, but Rich no, James that, also not not as quick. Not as quick. Rich James, Rich James can have a, a funny game. Right. Yeah, that's my issue yeah, with him. Off, yeah. That's my issue with him. Yeah, the game against Liverpool. Because you can't coach, you can't coach concentration. No, you can't. <laughs> but, you but, can't. but here's the stats, right? Mm. Regis has created more chances inside the box than any other player in the Premier League so far this season. Yeah. Um, which that. brings me to the question: If you're, I mean, I hate to be the England manager, but how do you pick it right back there? Yeah. Because <laughs> I feel like you have so much talent, but ultimately. The position is called a defender. If he doesn't make a decision, we will back to what happened with Lampard, Gerrard, and Scholes. I'm sorry, but... Guys, sorry, sorry, sorry to leave our own. Guys, Salve plays... No, I'm saying Salve plays with... Guys, Salve plays with... He yeah. plays with two, so, full two full backs. Two right full backs. Yes. Wing backs. As in... Two, two right, as in two, two right, right backs, yeah, yeah, two right, right back, right back. One, 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 one is in is the part of the centre back, the yeah. other one, and he doesn't pick Trent Alexander Arnold because. I think he he doesn't believe that man should stop. No, he doesn't think um, Trent is a good defender. Yeah, you know? Trent is not a great defender. But then when you have it, when you have it, Trent is not a defender, and you have Trent, two Trent is not in, uh, Tr- Why do you need Trent, him to be defensive again? No, Trent. Tr- well, that's, well, that's, that's a point. You know the yeah, thing is, that, yeah. that's, 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 that's a great point. That's but a the good thing point. Is, the rules on the table is when you're talking to you, you're talking, you're speaking to the mic. I know you're used to being behind the camera. <laughs> Don't spoil our audio. <laughs> when he play, he plays Kyle Walker because Kyle Walker. Of, I mean, Kawaka, not the best defender as well. Not, not the best but, defender, but obviously but better. Recovery. In, in terms of just being able to be there when you need him, yeah. Kawaka is always there. No one is going to beat him for pace. No human being, no dog, nobody. No play. No, nobody. When you put the ball, Kawaka gets to it before you. Yeah. That's why he plays there. And then he goes for Kieran Trippier. And I think he goes for Kri- Trippier because Trippier is an excellent footballer. Apart from just being a good cross of the ball, he knows how to pass. He knows Which is how where to I have to come in. When you say Trippier is an excellent footballer, you have to say Trent. double for Trent. <laughs> yeah. Right? I agree. And yeah. I, I, I always say this. When I see a manager pick a but system... Trippier also, you didn't allow no, me to no. finish. Trippier is a better defender. No, yes. that, which, 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 and is, this, is, this, 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 this is where you should allow me to finish, right? <laughs> because when you pick, when you pick, complete on our agenda. <laughs> when you pick a, a, a three at the back system, mm. right? What you have done is say we have overcompensated for defending, defending, yes. Yes. yeah. And the emphasis. So is why to, does Ole keep playing by one bissaka? Which is why. <laughs> Ole. Does he have sense? Ole that Ole. Why does he play one Bissaka instead of that? I agree. So, 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 if you play three, I'm make an argument for that. The wing back has to be attacking. Yeah, but I agree. Yes, true. He cannot be. You cannot pick the wing back on the premise that he's not a good defender. Yes, I agree. Back in the day, right? That's excellent thought. Back in the day, right? Why I agree with you, Bian? You see, back in the day, right? If you're playing with... You don't say why you come on the W now. Only you mean I will wash it. <laughs> so, so back in the day, I play with the you know four man defense line. Mm. The movement is always if a right back, for example, goes to tackle you know the 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 left winger or whatever of the other team. Center back opens up. Yeah, if they if they the center back comes in, in mm. case you go past that right back, the center back comes in and the right back knows that I have to go behind that center back. But you see, these days, it don't change in a way. These days, you have two holding midfielders sometimes. You know, when anything like that happens, the holding midfielder knows I have to drop in, drop his full back. But then also, when you now consider you're playing a three uh, three, uh, centre-back system, 
That means you don't have more people to even come and cover for this your full back. So you can't overcompensate. You know that I can allow for my wing backs. That's why I totally agree with Thomas Tuchel. You can tell that Thomas Tuchel explicitly tells his wing back, like, get into the box. If I see you at the back. Get into the box. Go, if you see Chelsea again, aside from when Rhys James is holding the ball and when Chiwell is holding the ball, see when they don't have the ball and Chelsea is attacking. Yeah. So you can tell that there's, there's, there's an instruction to go into the box and stay on the far post. Always, you know, the, the idea is to create overloads. Exactly. Yes. exactly. Create overloads. The the, advantages. You know, yeah. create overloads down, down, the, down the side. Because if I'm attacking and I've got, let's say, a number nine inside your box, a number 10 inside your box, a number eight inside your box, and I still have players on the side like this, yeah. it's almost impossible for the ball not to fall for one of our players. Yeah. Yeah. Def, def. So it's it's always about creating overload. And I, excellent thought from Yubi and, and, and uh, Wally. When you play a three at the back system, for me in my head, I'm thinking in these areas, those three defenders are supposed to cover. Mm-hmm. When, we are, when we are defending, we can accept the two fullbacks dropping in deep. Mm-hmm. But a three at the back system... People used to think is a defensive system, which. But I think when Conte came with Chelsea the first time, he showed that it was an attacking formation. You are, in sync. You are absolutely in sync. It with was me. like I can literally see, you know, yeah. post production. Somebody just put a graph. Somebody just throw <laughs> throw a, throw a map towards him. But uh, because because I remember Louis Van Gaal was speaking. I think when he just got the job back as Netherlands manager. And I think a reporter tried to rally him up and say, yeah. you know, something about the three five a, a three three five two system. Yeah. And he said, do you really think that the three five system is a defensive formation? <laughs> and honestly, honestly, the the on the surface, it looks when loud. a manager switches to that formation, <laughs> it is because something has gone wrong yes. with the defense. The four the, the four 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 two or the four two three one. And the narrative is naturally that you want to have more, more cover. Body. That's the narrative. But like he yes. mentioned, it depends on what the manager tells the players. The instruction. I think that three five two is more if the manager decides can be more attacking than anything okay. you can yeah, imagine. Yeah. It can be more attacking than anything. It can, can be more imagine. attacking because it is a system that makes it so easy to overload any part of this the, the yeah. pitch. Yeah. Yeah. You have so you two see, bodies. In so you see, position. even with the even with the three center backs, the interesting thing is that so you have three center backs, for example, if the if the attack is coming from this way, these two people can move this way, like they are the two center backs. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. So these two people can move this way. If the attack is coming this way, these two people can move this way. So it's almost like you are dividing the pitch. So for each half of the pitch, you have the two center backs going this way. You have these two center backs going this way. So it is easier for you to overload any side of the pitch that you want, whether you are attacking or you are defending. Yeah. So it can be very attacking more than anything, depending on the instruction of the manager. Yeah, but then the, the problem sometimes is that when you are defending like that, sometimes you feel like, you can pass responsibility yes. on. Yes, yes. So nobody yes. takes responsibility, yes. and that's the problem. So when you when you when you're meant to, go, that, that's why you like, need lead, leaders on. You the need pitch. leaders on the pitch. That's yeah. why they're like, that, this because when, when, for when me, you have leader, go. Well, when you have leaders on the pitch, let's say you have someone like Rio Ferdinand on the pitch, yeah. very vocal, has a baritone let's voice. Let's use Rudiger now. Rudiger, Rudiger, someone play. like Rudiger. Rudiger, yeah, yeah, Rudiger. Rudiger looks very mean. <laughs> you have someone like Rudiger. You don't want to get on his bad side. You know, why am I saying Rudiger? Lee Dixon used to talk about um, uh, Tony Adams. Imagine Tony Adams in a three-five-two system. Ah, Tony Adams is telling you what to do, so you can't pass the responsibilities when you have people like Van Dyke. Yes, yeah, you, yeah. Can't. you can't. You can't see? because they are always going to question what you're doing, and you know, <laughs> I don't, I can't remember what my United player said. He said the problem with playing for my United at the time was we're not just playing for the badge; we're playing for Sir Alex Ferguson. And Roy Keane. Yeah. <laughs> when we are on the training ground in the dressing room, we are playing for the badge and Rizalex. When you cross the white line, you are playing for Roy Keane. Yeah. Roy Keane will question Everything. every decision you made on the pitch. So when you have leaders on the park playing in that kind of system, yeah. you can't you I, can't easily move responsibility yeah. because I you agree. know you, I agree you have with to you, deliver. But the reason I maybe disagree with Wale a bit is that. Except you are playing for Oli. <laughs> because the way I see the United team, mm. I feel like people don't know their role in the team. Obviously. Right? So, except you are playing that, for that, Oli. That's the fault of coaching. Yeah, that's the fault of coaching. 
if the coach is a guy that understands how he wants his team to play, except the instruction is that you don't necessarily have to come and cover up. Mm. If not, everybody knows. See, when you play two holding midfielders, midfielders, right? This person that's on the right knows that Omo, if the ball they left, there's a limit to how I can lean left. Because there's somebody that's playing on the left already. He knows. You don't, you don't need somebody to come and tell you. Mm. Except you are playing for a manager who really doesn't care about positional play and discipline. Yeah. Natural. And it's the same way. I'm also with you. You see, when you are going forward, you want to go and score goals. People can move and run the channels. Mm. The right winger can go here. This is, when you are defending. It's not the same. It's not. Yeah. Mm. People know what their roles are. So you know that, man, I have to cover here. I have to move. So yeah. 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 It's funny because I uh, many years ago, I think 10 years ago, I, re- I read an article about Sidov. Um so how you pronounce it? Sidoff? Yes, yeah, Sidoff. Right. Sidoff, right. Sidoff. Um, <laughs> and how on the pitch, he was the coach on the pitch. Yeah. You know, and I always I always say that there are, there are talented players who can do things that you would never imagine, but the best players are the ones that read the game 360. Yeah. You know, Sidoff was they, one they, of they, them. They are, so was always... They know that co- always, people can forget. He was constantly in the manager's ear, you know, we're looking at what the manager was doing, you know, was looking at his notes and all that stuff. So... Because, because we're human beings, right? And players are human beings as well. When they get on the pitch, there's a propensity that the occasion, everything that's happening yeah. around them, you know, they they, 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 they they tend to be docile about the system or something like that. Sidoff was literally saying, this is what this is what we have practiced to do. Then this is what... Remember, what they say, they, 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 remember what they say in FIFA? Sorry. Play the game, don't play the occasion. Yep, yep, yep. Don't play the occasion. Yeah. Play the game, don't play the occasion. But what said <laughs> what, what, what made me really what, what made me remember this article from 10 years ago is there was a point set of change system on the pitch mm. you got got on the pitch the game wasn't going great I think it was at AC Milan and he told the players we're not <laughs> told his midfield switching say, it say, around say, say, say we're switching it around you get I, I will take responsibility when the manager ask so go Hi. on the pitch leader you know, look you know that's that's, football is, football football. that's, that's so interesting ball, ball, that's incredible ball, leadership but when but when Kepa took leadership and said he was going to say no no that's not leader no 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 that's not Kepa was irresponsible and if I see him was I would tell you he was irresponsible was he irresponsible no he was irresponsible do you know why I say he was irresponsible let's not do that he doesn't he doesn't want to come off that's not why we're here hold on hold on he doesn't want to come off please go to the touchline and tell the manager you can't Stand where mind, you are standing. Yeah. There, some managers will wrestle you to the ground. You won't do that to so, Conte. You can't do so. <laughs> so um, we're still on the topic of. He has not trans- transitioned his personality as a player, to, as a coach. I've Who's not that? Seen that's that's, that's uh, you, have you not been in the train for the dressing room? Wait, you say about uh, no, no. You, are you in the dressing room? No, I'm not. Do you, do, okay. do you see Patrick Vieira on the touchline? Yeah. For Crystal Palace. But it's cold. That's cold. I think I think we'll speak about him because yeah, I, I have two of his players on I top. have a feeling exactly. he, I have a feeling he battles them to the ground in training. Look, look. <laughs> I, I, I think it's cold. I think it's cold. I have a feeling he battles them to the ground in training. Look, I love the fact that not just because he's a, he's an ex-football player, um, but he's a black man. Mm, right. Yeah. Definitely. And and, and you know, someone can listen and say that's me being too racially yeah, sensitive, on. but you know, the black guy succeeding. I hope that the black guy, guy gets a job. Gets in the a job Premier League and succeeding. And he's doing Look, well. That's I great mean, stuff. That's, that's that right? gives us right? a lot so, of excitement. Um, this, this guy reminds me of, uh, of Sigurdsson, Jared Bowen. It's Jared funny because uh, <laughs> there's, 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 there's a news that um, a Czech billionaire has acquired West Ham, mm. right? 27%. 27%. Yeah. So I think With, it's majority. I think the plan is, is to... That, that's the majority now, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. That's the majority. I think the plan is to take over the take club. Take over the club, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. But when I watched Jared Boyd play, um, I remember Sigurdsson, which is a good and a bad thing. Sigurdsson, very talented player, right? Very good, but moved to a he couple... He wasn't so adaptable, Sha. He moved to a couple of clubs. around those mid-table, yeah. uh, pretending clubs. Is, is it the kind of player that could that could... Use the step up, or it's just good where he is, Jared Boyd. Because when I watch him, he's, he's so he's yeah. so aggressive on the ball. So, yeah, he's so I think, aggressive. I, I think you never know. Mm. I think you never know until you put them there. Mm. Because as opposed to some other players, Bowen has been with West Ham for a while. You know, has not played for a top club. You know, we need to see him. You know, play that for guy top is just clubs. fine there. Just, because, just, just, no, just, no, just leave him there. See, you, know, you know, know where he came from? He came from Hall. Yeah. Yes, he came from Hall. He came through the ranks at Hall. You know, was played in, in uh, when they were in the Premier League. He got relegated. He stayed with them. You know, tried to bring them up. He didn't work. Did so well in the Championship, and then he came to the Premier League. And 
it's not like he came to West Ham and then he went straight into into the first team. He worked incredibly hard, you know, to break into that West Ham side. I mean, remember that the right hand side of West Ham used to be Yarmolenko. Yarmolenko's position. He took the guy out of the side. Mm. He works incredibly hard. He's this kind of guy who he's just a workaholic. He wants to work. He's willing to give everything for the cost of the club. He's not technically the best. So you're saying he's not, not, he's technically, not, technically, you no, say no. that it's different from Sigurdsson. So you're saying he's technically he's more technically. Yeah, Sigurdsson Sig- 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 was technically very good. And, 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 and the, the issue, issue with yeah, exactly, and the a issue lazy. with Sigurdsson so, was that he couldn't play very well um, so what you're, so what you're saying because what, yeah. at, at Tottenham when he was there at Tottenham Ericsson was in the middle and he on the so, so, so what you guys not, are saying you what you guys are saying is that Bowen is not as talented technically but he's a no, hard on the worker contrary, no, no, think, no, no, I don't know I'm not saying he's very very technically gifted no I'm saying that I'm saying that in comparing him with Ericsson yeah Ericsson Ericsson doesn't really have the work rate he has that's what I'm saying now you guys are saying you know Bowen is not as talented technically but yeah. more hard working yes. Sigurdsson is more talented right Check but not yeah. as hard working yes, yes right yes, so yeah. I now disagree because we always say that talent is not enough hard work you know where talent doesn't work hard hard That's work will be talent so no 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 it's no, not it's a different not, conversation no, no. Which, which brings so, me to so, so when you relegate Bowen and uh, says he's just good where he is but you no, agree no, I'm, not, I'm, no, no, I'm just saying no, I'm but just saying he's just good where he is what, what I'm he saying I, I, I like him I like him a lot I like him a lot because don't they patronize me or you guy you like him so what I think he's very direct he gets on the ball he's very intentional he wants to drive at defenses I mean just free the but, guy leave yeah, him there but, because the next thing you take him to a big club now and he doesn't get playing time the all the time is, is that why you don't change his position that you sit down yeah is that why <laughs> that, is that, is that, is that, he, he speaks a lot of English here yeah. uh, but he's just good here leave him you see <laughs> and we'll get to that topic later on <laughs> Because we'll everybody has to change, switch, yes. switch, switch, switch around. Right? There's, there's, a, there's, a there's a bit of, there's a bit of, there's a bit of. I've what, said it before. Come there's on. a bit of defiance mm. that comes with being able to play for big clubs. You see, they bring okay. some young players, but they look the senior players dead in the eye. Mm. We just talked about Ramsdale, right? Mm. They look the fans dead in the eye. I say, look, I remember 2012 Chelsea Champions League final. The Bayern Munich fans were screaming behind, you know, the goalposts that the penalty was being taken. They really Lewis looked at them and said, see, I don't care. I will smash it. <laughs> There's a bit of defiance <laughs> that comes, you know, fire in your belly. You don't know if the guy has it. Mm. Because he's playing yeah, with West Ham now, you have to take him to that big so club can, and you see. You can't really say. Yeah. Yeah. So we talked about uh, talent and I think uh, the, the conversation found a way to go to talent and a bit of hard work as well, which I think nobody epitomizes the word hard work, talent, and a coach's dream of a technical player than Bernardo Silva. Wow. Look, you know, look, I don't, I, I shouldn't you see, I, when you I, put I, it I, like this, eh? <laughs> when you put it like this, they're supposed to just carry you go Sky Sports. You get, <laughs> make just, because, you know, it's just, he is, you know, I, I hate to talk about him because Bernardo when you talk about him, people, people feel like, you know, you just they watch Silva today and mm. he's limp. And because of his size again. You know, when a player uh, uh, does it over and over again, you're just in awe of like, this guy is the smallest guy on the pitch. Yes. You know what? You know why? You know why I think you know I would pick Bernardo Silva as my best player so far this season in the Premier League. When you see when you're a good player, but then you are small. The moment you start doing all those, your guys want to hit you. See, you. as the ball just starts, <laughs> because your team knows say you shall be play. Yeah. As the ball just starts, your team give you the ball first time, second time. I'm telling you, I've see. You go hear when the opposition will take and say that they are best player with that. <laughs> they'll, they'll say it and you hear it say that they are best player with that. Mm. So they are coming. They know that hey, oh, my boy, bro, he can play, but well, it's just small. Ah. So they want to come. And, so when you when you now make it clear to them that see, leave this ball first. I go knock you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? Like yeah. I saw a tweet after that game. You know, last weekend, he said Bernardo Silva playing as a force nine, force ten, yeah. force eight, <laughs> force six. Bro, yeah. Like everywhere, yeah. can you imagine? Can you, can you imagine how happy Pep must be when Look, he's picking ah, the team for big games? I, and get, I don't want to have a liability center forward, mm. but I want to play this guy there because I know that he will give me something in midfield as well, and he won't be. Like, like, he must be so. You know, if if you are playing, if you are if you are coming up against a tough guy on FIFA, right? Normally, if you are playing some guys that you know you will, you are playing having a good game. Normally, you can use some formation and you can you can coast. <laughs> But when you're playing a very good player, you know that every time you get the ball, that player, you, that player that has the ball must not be a slouch. So I tell you, for example, when I play, when I play, I use um, 
I use Real Madrid, right? And Marcelo is not the best defender, right? But he's good at attacking. But if I'm playing a very good player, I tell you, I don't use Marcelo. I go find. I'm, I I rather not use true. I rather use a, 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 a defender that is there that can body the other guy. You know why? <laughs> because when it comes down to it, yes, your sir. roles have to be executed in your, your area. Primary mm. Your primary roles. Role so a guy like Silva can do everything. You know, passes the ball well, holds onto the ball. Look. How do you think he, he was on his way out? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, and, he, and, and, and I mean, that's, he, that's that's the mentality. He was on his way out. He, he told the manager, I, "I want to play all the time. You're not playing me. I'm going to go." I don't know the conversation he had with Pep. I don't know what he did. I don't know what changed, and I can't look beyond a guy who just believes. Let me just go and walk in the training ground mm-hmm. and just give everything mm-hmm. and play my way into this team. And let the manager find it very difficult to drop me. Because it has to be mentality. Because sometimes when players are not playing, they just decide to sulk. Yeah. You know, just sit about, sulk. But you look at a guy who, every time you see him play, he might not be 9 over 10 all the time, but he's not lower than 7 he's not over lower 10. Than seven. Yeah. 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 Every time. The, 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 the team cannot slack on, on me. Whether you, you like it or not. Playing 90 minutes at that level on that on that pitch is 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 difficult. Mm. It's not easy. So when you have a guy like Bernardo Silva playing 90 minutes on that level, with the amount of work that he puts in, he can only tell you one thing: the amount of work that he puts in on the training ground. Mm. Yeah. That's what he says. That's that me- part of him. Exactly. That yeah. means this guy puts in a lot of work, maybe even extra work compared to the team. Because we're talking Bernardo Silva, he plays for Man City, there are lots of great players, but we're not talking about these other great players doing the same amount of work he's doing. Mm, so that yeah. means there must be something that he's doing that is extra. Great guys. Yes. Yes. Love it. Brilliant, brilliant, love brilliant, brilliant stuff. Love uh, honorary mention brilliant to stuff. Yao Cancelo as well. Yeah, I mean, Cancelo. You, have to, you, have to, you have to say he's been very good. Um, he's, 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 he's been, been very good. Yeah. Even though I think that... He's on that um, list of those wing backs, those full that, backs. Yeah, that's, that those full backs well. that, that are really good. Even though I think that, you know, when you play a right back... At left back, it's, it makes it easier for the right back. It does you he? think so? Does yeah. He? Does he? Attacking, yeah. not defensive. Attacking, yes. yes. No, I think I think attacking makes it easy. Attacking, yes, One. but not defensive. Defending, Defending it makes it easy. No, the way the, no, it doesn't. Know, it, it, see, look. No, it's not. I, I tell it's you, not, I, t- I tell you, I tell you. It's a point, though. No, no, I tell you. I know what he's saying. I tell you, I'm playing. Okay, okay, say you know. Tell me. No wait. I don't know what I say. I don't know what you're saying. Tell me now. <laughs> oh, this see, team must make you see, really see. see. <laughs> For a, a a right a right footed player playing on a left back position. Yeah. If you are playing against a winger who is left footed, I think it's easy. Yep. Because he's going to cut in all yeah, the time. Yeah. But you if, get you point playing, now. Yeah. if you are playing Antonio Valencia, <laughs> you are in deep shit. You are in deep shit. Because you in, every you time Valencia comes, yeah. or he's you're going playing on belly. Or you are playing your... <laughs> every time he comes... Even this one Bissaka that we say is not so good. Yeah. The one Bissaka na, na <laughs> he yeah. go do like, he do like the ego, still go like but this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is if you are playing Valencia, you are dead. But yeah. I, th- I, think, I think that in saying... I think um, it might be unfair... Um, one guy has been the most has been the least impressive player for me, and because I rate him highly, I I I want to decide. I like I like I, the, I, I, I like I, the I kid. Think, I think I think I, I like the kid. With all due respect, you with don't all due respect, I have the respect. <laughs> I want to disagree. You see, I, see, I don't like. Look, I, I think I, 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 I think it actually starts with no disrespect, but we all due respect. No disrespect. I think they should start coaching him to become a right center back. No. Okay, maybe that's I, the point. I, 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 I'm the first if you play, I think you bless yeah, 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 Please, if you play, if, if Wan Bissaka comes to Chelsea now, nobody can bench him. Under Thomas Tukelu, right center back. Right center back. No, right center back. Yeah, yeah. 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 back now. People. You understand? You see, it's like Wan Bissaka, this young boy now, young Chaluba, doesn't play as a wing back, mm. right center back. back. And you see why I don't agree with all this bashing of Wan Bissaka? They, they didn't buy this guy as a wing back. They mm. bought him as, as a, a full, full back. back. No, but even as a full you see, back, you don't no, no, mean no, that no, you no, should. No, no, Wan Bissaka no. is one of the best full backs, full backs in no, the Premier League. No, 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 no,
Calm down. No, no, no. A full back, back, a full back. back. Listen, uh-huh. a full back is meant to go forward, but even in the name, it is full back. Okay. Not wing back. I you, know, but you, your you, primary you, duty you, as a full back. Do you, do you, you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember, do you remember Bakari Sanya, who used yes. to play for Arsenal? Yes. 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 Shocking guy going forward. Yes. But Proper defensive. defender. Yes. There was nobody I would no, see. Fire, I didn't fire, 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 no, fire, fire, no, no, Sanya was better defensively than going forward. Was Sanya was a cracker. I one on say, one. No, no, no. But one on Sanya one. was so shocking when say, he went forward. What I agree when to. When Arsenal sold Sanya, we went and got Emmanuel Eboe. Yes. Absolute shocker defensively. What I, going, going forward, forward the year was, was better. Better. The boy yes. was unbelievable. A boy used to go, used to go past people. We used to call him a boy, didn't you? And Wenger made a mistake by turning him to a winger. And see, speaking, speaking of which, Wenger needs to leave football for us. <laughs> <laughs> leave us alone, I beg. Now, nah, yeah, that comes out. I should have left because Arsenal. It, see, we don't... We don't which can be life crisis don't, at 70. So no Wenger no no insult will be allowed on this table. I don't care. No, 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 no. I stand up and I walk out of this table so with this insult you know, Wenger. Checking, you know, I was checking to... No, no, no. Wenger is going to ruin the game for No, no, no. I think... I, I, <laughs> I think it was really yesterday. Eh? I think it was because yesterday. He has proposed the something. Cup, the World Cup thing, the offside thing. Every, once he has it's, proposed it's, it's, something. It's like, it's like clockwork. Yeah. <laughs> once Premier League don't play the last game. No. Venga, I go do interview. Venga, I don't do interview. You don't, you don't give ESPN yeah, the, but the sources. It, it, can be, it can be good marketing sources, from FIFA Sources well. say that Venga is looking to talk to 50 people. Don't speak to any 50 people. He can't speak to you. <laughs> See, don't I think table. it was yesterday. No, I say I shall not ask now. <laughs> Who cares? No was, Venga slander will be allowed on checking, this table. I was checking the list of the, the Ballon d'Or list, like mm. the long one. And I was seeing, so they will mention somewhere like Mbappe, 37 goals, Haaland, 40 something goals, and so so I see all these people. And then when they begin to mention defenders, you know, they mentioned Kilini and they mentioned two assists. That was the first thing. Mm. What nonsense. And then, and then they mentioned. You know, obviously they mentioned Donnarumma, goalkeeper, social number of clean sheets. I saw another defender that they mentioned, and they mentioned two assists and then social number of clean sheets. But what I'm saying is that they mentioned a couple of defenders, and the first start they dropped was two assists, one goal, two goals, two assists. So mm. what I'm saying is that it has it is becoming a mainstay where defenders are being judged Just based by on the amount of how, goals. how many attacking about goals. fancy the game the attacking assists. game now. Yeah. What nonsense? But it's nonsense. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. 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 You know, move that to this one. Bisaka no. is such an idiot defender. He cannot play no, football. He, can, he, he cannot. No, 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 no. Guess what? I think that's growing up. It, that, that makes a great point. No, there. no. We, we, which is why I think it's absolute nonsense. When we were growing up watching football, we used to hear names that nobody was talking about how good they were in terms yes. of going forward. You hear Alexandro Costa. Don't come near me. Mm. You hear Franco Baresi. Baresi. You hear names like you hear names like. It was that, that guy, South African guy, that Radebe guy? Yeah, Lucas Radebe. Yeah. You hear names like that, and nobody talked about what they were doing. Even Macalele, even Macalele, Rigo, 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 was just these, are, these were people guy. who made their craft look so attractive. Yeah. Yeah. People Sadio Cannavaro, yes. You hear Alessandro Nesta. They had a name. They made a name from, from being and defending. Defenders, and yeah. no, no kidding. Kids, kids used to buy Nesta. No, now yes, now. Like, no, 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 yes, no, no kidding. Like people buy Nesta on their back. They're like, they want to buy shit. You know, you know, Nesta back, you was know, not scoring, day, no flipping goal. Back in the day, you couldn't go and do your own name or your this thing yeah, like that. You see, yeah, yeah. You know, know, why people will talk about you see, buy you, see, market, you see Fiorentina against AC Milan, and then you have a striker like Batty Goal. Yeah. And, ah, yeah. They had a Manuel Ricosta. And you play last ditch ball and Batty Goal he wants to smash it. And Nesta clears him. As in we Let need for you, those yeah. moments. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, they ah, will talk about on. the good of the game. They say, yeah, this, this, and they the were talking the goals. You know, the goals. They are, this, this, this. But if we are really talking about the good of the game, you be just said. There, there were kids that would go out there, get jerseys, Nesta, Maldini, yeah. and all these players. If we are talking good of the game, make no mistake, there are people who enjoy being the bad guys. They watch yep. those Nesta, the Nestas of this world, they watch these guys, and then they go to their Sunday league games. Mm. I want to be like those yes, guys. So. Yes, they so. want to smash anybody that comes to them. So now we're making it unattractive. We're making it, we're making it, um, what's, it, what's, what's the right word to use? We're making it um, unattractive, I think unattractive it, yeah. or non-football-like. To want yeah. to be a proper, Anti-football. proper yeah. defender, Anti-football. Yeah. Yeah. to want to be proper, be proper what's, defender. That, what's that guy's name in, um, in in the last dance? Um, the guy with the green uh, hair. Scott, Scott. No, 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 no. no. Dennis Rodman. Oh, my, my guy. My guy. Is still, 
My I think, God. I think after... I bow. After <laughs> Dennis Rodman. After Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Scott, Scott, uh, Pippen. Scott Pippen. Scott Pippen. Right. In fact, Scott Pippen doesn't even have the... The he doesn't have the charisma. He doesn't have the charisma that yeah. doesn't have had. the star power that Rodman had. Bro, and Rodman was just Rodman a ball just... You can't Bro. get past this guy. You can't, you can't get past Rodman. This guy will go party. <laughs> and the amount of... he will come, come back, he will run yeah, more the... yards than anybody. The coach will give him time off because yeah. he knows that when he comes back, he's working harder than anybody. Yeah, anybody, yeah. Uh, you know, so, so I, we, I quite understand yeah, where Olakunle yeah, comes from. I take, I take that back for one Bissaka. No, no, no. A lot of people have made drop the comments. We need to speed up because we're we spent a lot of time. A lot of people have dropped comments on Conor Gallagher. Mm. Mm. Um, to be honest, I don't watch Palace a lot, <laughs> but every time I change channel, he's doing something. He's either yeah. running or he's just taking his shots. What's, what's, what's it about this kid? So I think he, maybe he may not admit it publicly, but I think he wants to be like Frank Lampard. I see, I see the way he plays. The, the, the one thing I'll give me more credit might sound like slander is I think it's technically is better than Frank Lampard at that age when Lampard was that age. Lampard was at West Ham. Yeah. At that age, I think he's technically a better player. You know, he I see him close control. He can he can he get glides, himself he glides out, with the ball. You know, can go past. I don't yeah. think Lampard was that great at that age. But one thing he does that I see every time I watch Conor Gallagher, I mean, and th- this is for the punters. That boy is always having a proper goal. Yeah. Always having always. a shot at goal. Always. Every game you see him, you can put that in your betting ticket. Yeah. He always wants to have a shot on goal. He might not score all the time, but he always wants to have a shot. He has a way of fashioning spaces out to have a shot on goal. And that's what Lampard did. I, I read a stat somewhere that Lampard used to say, Lampard used to, when he was playing at the peak of his powers, was having four shots on target every game. That's, mm-hmm. a, that's a personal target set for himself. Mm-hmm. Four shots on target. I must have four shots on target every game. Yeah. You know, sometimes you might, you might not achieve it, but if you're doing that all the time, that's why we Lampard, he Lampard he has out. That, yeah. That's why Lampard had such an astonishing number. You yeah. know, he was doing and that's 20. That's why your strikers feel that Chelsea. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Convention of Anaragi. That's why Lampard was scoring 20 every season. Yeah, because if you are if you are shooting on goal every time, yeah. and you're not just shooting aimlessly, you're someone who understands how to set target and get to it. And there yeah. very that, few people. Yeah, I, I, that's I, just wrap up on Gallagher. Yeah, I think I think God, to be honest, there, eh, I think it's been amazing, but I also have to give a lot of credit to Patrick Vieira. Mm-hmm. But since we're speaking Conor Gallagher now, you know, I think it helps that you have a manager like Patrick Vieira. Not just because he has played the game, he played back in the day when, you know, players like Lampard wanted to do what they were doing. Mm. So it's proper. You can tell that there's also a deliberate instruction instruction to Gallagher to say, look, we have to get here. Remember the Man City game? The moment Man City made that mistake, Gallagher was there to pick the ball up Mm. and then give it to Wilfred Zaha. And I think that's the biggest credit for me, you know, where... Being able to be at the right, you know, place at the right time. People can say... And that's not accidental. Yeah, exactly. People can say he's just there. No, no, no. It's not accidental. It is a guy that understands timing, you know, that also understands Redeem exactly what he wants game. to do, his abilities, yeah. you know, and, and all that. And for a young guy, for the amount of work that he does in that team, every time Crystal Palace are defending and they try to break... He's the guy they are looking for. Mm. He's not mm. the guy maybe that will eventually score, but he's the guy they are looking for to make the final pass because they trust in how mm. good his passing is. With set pieces, you know, they allow him. And he's just a young guy playing for a really traditional side like Crystal Palace. So yeah. I think he's been amazing. It's, 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 it's English, yeah? We'll, we'll go back to the tradition. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, <laughs> my but kudos to... Um, I mean, it might all unravel. Uh, I don't think it would, but yeah. uh, Patrick Vieira... You know, looks uh, looks the That's part, my man. manager. It, 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 it looks, it looks I don't the part, know man. what this one is doing at not London. That's it, my it future looks, manager. It looks, it looks the part. It looks the part. Really, really looks see, the part. Uh, for it's composure. I mean, the way he's Christian, doing it. Do you see composure at, at, at the Emirates against Arsenal? Look, that my was, God, that was, he crossed his leg almost throughout the game. That and is, and then they, lo- they lost three points they at the dead. Is that is that a French thing? Because you know, people talk about Vera and it made me think about the. The brawl in the tunnel. Mm-hmm, you think about mm-hmm. the. But you know, Vera was actually good going forward. Yeah, he was. Come on. He could, he could, he could, tra- he could travel Just with the, the boy. Yeah, yeah and stuff like that. No, Vera, Vera was a classic when you when you, when you see box to box. Classic around, box to yeah. box, yeah. Vera classic was classic. Box box. He was. And he had this. Vera was such a good footballer. 
you know, yeah. in terms yeah. of the ball at his feet. Yeah. You know, people talk about it, the hard tackling. Yeah. But Vera could strike past people. He can get the ball and move it with move with it. And I think, like you said, I think gonna Gallagher will learn a thing exactly. or two from yeah. from from, like from someone like that because in, you can be a good player, you know, make runs into the box, but. Sometimes you're going to be judged by how good you are on the ball. And I think that's what's uh, going to, maybe not judged, but people are going to see aspects of your game and say, he's not just great in terms of making those good runs, but he's very good on the ball. He can pass, he can, he, he can stride with it. So I like, I like the kid. My, my, yeah. I, so I, don't, I, think, I don't know if he walks straight nice into the Chelsea team. a manager who has played the game at a higher level than you have, and can always put you down and say, no, it, it, it you helps. You to learn more. It helps because... It helps if the manager knows how to manage. It, it helps yeah. if the manager and knows it, how it to also, manage. Because it, it, it also helps. It can, it can be a double-edged sword. It can yeah. be the thing players hate about you the most. Okay. It can. You know, but like, also, like, like Thierry Henry. Like, but like, also, you see, with, guy, you're not the one playing. But you see, with <laughs> like Gallagher, I'm forever now. You see, with Gallagher and Vieira, it's almost like Gallagher is in a position where Vieira used to play. Not entirely in terms of maybe even defending, but when it when it comes to going forward, it's almost like he's in that position where Vieira can tell him exactly, can paint a picture to him that this is where you should be, this is how it works, and all that. And I was going to say my biggest credit to Vieira would see when a new manager comes in, the narrative is always you know you have to give him time, you know, to mm. visit, you know. So for him to be able to 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 set Crystal Palace up and play the way they are doing currently in, in, in such a short period yeah, of time. Yeah. That's my biggest credit. Yeah. So now... And people don't realize it's the toughest job exactly. in the Premier League this season. Why? Crystal Palace moved on a lot of... It called their players, you know, and Townsend left, left. Gary Cahill left. Yes. Um, there's one other important player that that, that left. Even the Bray Chase is, I think is, Van has Hanout, been injured. Van Hanel Van left. left. They p- 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 Backline pairing, the center back pairing, Anderson. new players, yeah. Anderson, Gway, you know, so they brought in Conor Gallagher into the team, they brought Austin Edward into the team. To be able to make that team play, play. in the way they've played so yeah. far, yeah. is yeah. unbelievable. That, 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 that means he's a, he's, a, he's a very important or talented communicator. Yes, because, possible. Because, because what I find with managers and players is sometimes you see a very good manager. But the problem is that he's not communicating. He's not, he's not communicating. communicating. The ideas That's are not true. getting through. Yeah. That's true. So when you see the players doing what the manager wants, it's because he's t- that they, they understand when he's speaking. You get it. There's something he knows about telling you how to do it. And, 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 that's, and that's, that's a skill. This, 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 this is, yeah. no, this, this is very underrated. This is When you see managers fail at the club, it's either they cannot transmit what they have in their yeah, head to yeah, the yeah. players. Yeah. players yes. Because... For instance, the classic Man United situation. People say Ole is such a bad manager. The one criticism I have of Ole, I don't, think, I, I don't think he's a horrible manager. Okay. I just think that he just doesn't know how to get these players to do what he wants. Now, I don't think there's anything in his head. So, no, no, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That, that's the one I talk. Now you won't take a talk. I don't think there's anything in his head. So I think what's incredible also is that doing all this with Crystal Palace, mm. so now, I, like you said, in my arrival, I hope it doesn't. I don't think it would. They, 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 they are now. They, they, are they, now they, they played against Leicester. Look, t- took a point. Went to City. One. One. Played against Arsenal. Took, took a, a point. point. Beat Tottenham three nil. Guess what? Come they on. are now a team. They are fourth on the home form, by the way. Mm. On home games, they are fourth on the table. If you know, they are now a team that can really hurt you when they have possession of the ball. Mm. They can hurt you on the counter attack. And they so can do that one too. Yeah, exactly. We have ben changed Tenke. the way they play, but not losing that defensive identity, identity that yeah. they had before. So, so yeah. it's been amazing. So it's yeah. an upgrade, basically. Hybrid. Um, so I, I see a lot of people, I think we touched on Gallagher. I see a lot of people also mentioned Vinicius, um, also. Vinicius. Vinicius Jr. I wanted to just take time before we cross over to Spain. You know, what has changed about him? Because I remember reading about him early on when, he, when, he, when he wanted yeah. to start, um, when Real Madrid wanted to sign him. I think it was a tussle between Barcelona and, and, and Real Madrid, yeah. you know, the next big thing. And because that's what these two clubs are always after. The next big thing. Who is the next big kid from Brazil mm. or, or South America? Um, but a lot of times, I think I, I saw him do things that were unnecessary. He looked like he was just running without a direction and a things like that. A friend of mine used to call him a Puru. <laughs> uh, no, he looks, honestly, he looks no, no, like a Puru no, a lot. No disrespect, but what do you respect? <laughs> uh, he has to find out if, if he has to find a, if there's a link. Uh, if you're no listening, use. Vinicius so is, has to be your cousin. <laughs> has to be, right? <laughs> but these days, he plays with a great end product, yeah, right? Yeah. That, it's, 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 you know, you know, you know one of the things I, I, I don't I don't watch Real Madrid all the time, but when I pick up my phone, you know, 
live score or flash score, I see Real Madrid 2, Vinicius scored 1. Oh, or assisted assist. 1. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, something is really going on with this kid. It feels like so, every time so, you say you don't watch this team, you always have a comeback. I don't watch them, but I know what's going but, on. But I know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, it's, more it's funny because uh, when, I, when, I, when I started out uh, broadcasting, you know, a lot of girls used to ask me, do you watch all the games? You know, and, and sometimes you see, so it wasn't a lot of people. It was a lot of girls. Yeah, a lot of girls. You know, because guys know you can't watch all the games. <laughs> and, and <laughs> of course. Thank you know. God for extending highlights now. You know, so can't be, can be <laughs> like twenty minutes. So, 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 yeah, yeah, so yeah, you watch all the games. You know, you want to feel could be like, yeah, most of them. Extending highlights now can be like twenty minutes. Guys, scam, man. <laughs> right, but but um, they don't is, catch is, you that. Is, is, is that down to the manager playing around him, because? I seen I heard Carlo Ancelotti talk a couple of times and he said he prefers him to to Hazard. Mm. And when you put out Hazard from the team with the amount of money they spend on Hazard and choose Vinicius, that means that in a way your game is almost revolving around his areas of the pitch, if not himself. I, I think obviously more end product, but you know, beyond the fact that probably he has worked on himself more, probably the manager has told him this is what you need to do. Yeah, but I also think it comes to the fact that there's a particular, you know, di- you know, dimension that he brings to the team that the manager wants. So with Hazard, he's always been the guy that doesn't really work hard. But when you give him the ball, he's going to produce. So you definitely put him in a team. But now he's not been producing and he doesn't really work hard. So I'd rather put somebody that works hard. So when I put somebody that works hard, if he plays enough games, he's going to start getting goals. Improve, he's going yeah. to get, get you know, head, head products. So I think Vinicius has grown into that role of, well, he has been getting games, opportunities. You know, we play, you know, on the front foot. Opportunities will come anyway. Yeah. And then when you now add it to, I work on myself more, you know, I practice my shooting. The manager has told him this is what he needs to do and products will come. Even on last then, he, he started showing those improvements. Yeah. I remember the game against Liverpool. You know, mm. the goal he scored. Yeah. <clears throat> that was a fantastic goal. So, uh, I think that also Benzema has also helped him, you know, in certain times where you see him playing centrally and Benzema You know, Benzema wide. loves to drift, yeah. yeah. So, he has worked on his end product. Reminds me of Sterling when, before, when he was at City. <laughs> yeah, when he was at City or at Liverpool. No, City. No, the City. When he, I think two seasons after he joined, Pep okay. came, that was Pep's first or second season. He was always getting into positions where he wasn't scoring. True. And then the following season, you could see that he had worked on himself yeah. and all of that. So, yeah, kudos to Vinicius. He looks like the most exciting Brazilian, young Brazilian um, we've seen in a long time. Yeah. That's, that's brilliant stuff. Yeah, because, you know, when he makes the point about, about Benzema helping him drift, finding his central areas, yeah. that, that's very important. Because what a lot of people don't realize is that when, you, you know, and I say this all the time, I say it maybe too, too many times, f- football at the highest level is very deliberate. Right, yeah. mm. and players yeah. have players get pissed off a lot on the pitch, even managers. because because if you get into the position I want to get into, right, I'm going to have a go at you for real. If I, mostly if I'm the most senior player in the team, mm. right. That's so that's a great point that Wale makes. Because Benzema has, Benzema clearly has and helped him a lot. Now go on, it's fine. You can go in centrally if you yeah. think you can. You know, when you get a chance, make sure you. Benzema just score. wants to have the ball. Yeah. Just give me the ball. Make sure you pick out yeah. to this people. Footballer. Yeah. Make sure you pop. Ah, no. yeah. Karim Benzema. Brilliant, 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 brilliant football player. A lot of people mention Benzema as well, but exactly. I, th- I think it would be an insult to Benzema. Like, no, or maybe, or 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 maybe have, unfair to the younger ones. Yeah, 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 I was like, still talking like, Benzema. Where have you Come been? Where have you been? It's Karim. Can you remember Karim Benzema? We never include him in our top trees, though. I think we always forget because he's in the league. There's been a disrespect. For us. From us. No, no, from. I mean, I mean, yes, Benzema is currently the best center forward in the world. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I said I, what I, I said. I, I, I said what I said. Center forward. I'm not saying goal scorer. Center forward. The best center forward. I love the best center forward. The best center forward in the world. I said what I said. He works. He works. Cheers. Cheers. I tell you what. I tell you what. I think a lot of the disrespect Benzema has gotten from the media. No is due to the brilliance of Ronaldo and Messi. Mm. And we have to get back there. No, but I, 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 well, it's I, been like two, three years now no, that no, no. Ronaldo has left now. No, he's, he's left, right? But Ronaldo has scored that, that, that mentality for Juventus. Of, of, in, of goals, goals, years. goals. Last year, he scored for Doesn't just fade away easily. <laughs> You know, <laughs> nothing else going away easily. You know, when Ronaldo has not gone anywhere. He has no, scored no. eight goals in no, yes, 10 matches in Man United. He has done that. And to be honest, I'm probably the only person that will ever say this. I've loved every minute of watching Ronaldo and Messi play. But I can't also wait yeah. for them to stop playing. Obviously. Right? Yeah. right? I, 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 and and they, they made a lot of money. They've done a lot of things. Because Benzema made a comment two weeks ago. He said, look, a lot of players, 
play a football game, have a terrible game, score one goal, and, and everybody he, talks yeah. about them. I don't want to be that kind of player. Never want to be that kind of player. This right. kind of players are scarce now. And though. yeah, and it's and for this funny thing is, is how my mentality is as well. Hazard also I, sees I, that as well. I don't want to be the guy who did one right thing. Hazard is a serious person. Out of 10 things, I did one right thing and fumbled at eight. Manager and people, one. And people, and people are and they crazy. Milk the, yeah. And they milk the, the, the English press is very fantastic at this one. At yeah. this, to be honest. He ran the whole show. He ran the show. And I watched the game. <laughs> and but, I watched the game. But, but, the back of but the they brought him on. They brought him on uh, 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 68th minutes. Yeah. He got scored winning goal. He was a man of the match. Yeah. Which is oh. why which is why I also the announcer in the stadium we even tell you that yeah, which, which is why I also have a problem with with uh, some stats. You know, the assist stats sometimes. Yeah. You know, if you play ball, play ball, play ball, you know, somebody the play ball gives somebody somebody, somebody just, just stick somebody out just, one leg just stick out one leg hit out he said an assist assist what or, or perceive, perceive from back perceive from back pass to perceive from middle uh, he, he strike 40 yard uh, and they go say assist he say assist, assist by, <laughs> by this person he's like yeah and, and that's an assist to Ronaldo against Porto <laughs> Jesus Christ! Which one? The four yards. The four yards. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That was, was very was simple Anderson. pass. Yeah, ah. a straight ball. Straight, simple pass. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 so there, so there is that. So, Benzema done. Um, we're talking about Vinicius Junior. Who yeah. else is on on the list before we get on to um, other things and, and wrap up on the show? Uh, I think we've pretty much spoken about everybody here. Uh, someone mentioned uh, they mentioned Chris. the bad, the Barca boys. Someone mentioned um, Barca boys and so Fati. I think we don't. No, 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 no. Gavi and um, Gavi. Gavi. Gavi is going Gavi to be fine. Nico. Nico. Gavi is going to be fine. Yeah, I Nico think he should come back. Man. I think he should come back. You know, let's let's observe. Yeah. Gavi came through during this uh, final game that he played. I mm. think you have finished Champions League, the semi final. Yeah. Da, 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 about so, I think it's enough to be. Nico to, is a good lad. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. it looks yeah. it looks. Quite good, and I, th- I think Barcelona. I don't know. If we, we haven't I, spoken about the Rice, but I think we're talking too much about West Ham. Goodness gracious! Yes. Yes. Talk about goodness the Rice. Yeah. On, on, on the corner, Rice. You, you, know, you, you saw the video of him and 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 McNeil. Kurt Zuma. Oh yeah. After their game against um, Aston Dancing. Villa, you know the the French song. I yeah, can't. I, I mean, it was song. such a beautiful thing, and that boy. That, that bo- was that was a good analysis made on on Declan Rice. You know. It, when you call somebody an enforcer, that's what that's what that's what Declan Rice is. Mm. You know, he's a midfield enforcer, right? Um, I'm very impressed with uh, so many players. Yeah, I, I, I think, think I just who Christian Kunu, Christian Kuku, yeah. What I call him? Yeah, Uda Bid, Uda Bid, Uda Bid, Uda Bid, Uda Bid, yeah, Unkunku. Ah, come on, you should play for PSG. Let me tell you, Unkunku now, eh? Unkunku is a combination of Messi, Ronaldo, Unkunku. Yes, I'm alive. I'm alive. Now, Christian, Christopher Unkunku, Christopher, Christopher, Christopher Unkunku, Unkunku, Unkunku. Right, right, right. See, Unkunku now is a combination of Messi. Ronaldo, not as good as you, uh, I, I don't know if you can say it, but that boy now, bro, problem. I think in his head, the boy knows. Say, I, see, if I be ten, I go dribble now. <laughs> did you see what he did? I think it was a game against yes, Dortmund. Okay. Was a game against Dortmund when he won two 0 mm. In the in the Dortmund box, this guy was doing Zidane turn twice. And then he hit the bar, post. He hit the bar, yeah. If you say that, but that's the best goal of the season. I yeah, don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah, let me, the yeah. guy wants to dribble everybody and anybody. Right now, I think he's on fire. Yeah, he's one he's of the on, best. In the start, uh, Mbappe is the only player that has, uh, has more expected assists than Kunku uh, in the top five leagues. And wow. uh, Mbappe has 3.78. Uh, Kunku has 3.66. So, really good. Uh, I love the fact that he's doing great as well. Um, I want to give notable mentions to uh, Robin Loftus. How cheek. do you do this, son? <laughs> What's that? Stop this! No, that's, 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 that's it. Yeah. yeah. No, love to stick. I want to give. Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw this. I saw this. Love to stick. I'll be my guy. Goodness me! I, I, I really want to give a, a notable mentions to love to stick. Uh, yeah. Sebastian Haller. No, yes, been, right. Haller has been yeah, scoring goals for yeah. Been, you know, wizard. Is that By the way, yeah, wizard wrist off. Um, yeah, is that Yeah, I don't want to speak about Falcao because we we want to talk about Falcao. We play them. You know, but what's his chick player? I honestly hope that he can stay fit. I yeah, I think so. that's the issue. You know, uh, when is... every time I watch Pogba as a football player, and this will get me a lot of a lot of slander, and somebody get on the comments and say this one I don't know what's in the talk, but that's fine. But when I when I watch Loftus Cheek play and how he executes his physique and the talent he has, he's not as talented as Pogba is, obviously. But that's how I would have preferred Pogba executes his talent. It, right, if he doesn't have the passing Pogba has. Yeah, he doesn't have the range Pogba has. I don't think he's. Um, I don't think he's. Uh, obviously, he doesn't have the charisma Pogba. He doesn't have the vision. But in terms of the simplicity, yeah. and the choice, consistency, consistency of when to pick, 
a skill set. You know, if you're playing, um, you're playing Call of Duty or something like that. You switch your guns. You switch the bullets. I want to take. I want to use this sniper frame at this point in time. Oh, yeah. You keep switching. You keep switching. So when I watch a player like Pogba, I see him. He, he has like a a bag of talents. At every point in time, he picks which one to use. But he, he, what I see him do is he picks from the whole bag. He doesn't pick one. No, you, you know. Mm. You, you so he's about, worried about. He's worried about picking. You know. You when I see about, Lotus Chick, Lotus Chick thinks I'm here. I need to do one Zidane spin. The next pass move has to be guess what? Guess what? You, every time Zidane used to do that thing we talk about he was to get himself out of out trouble, of trouble. We he, wasn't, he wasn't to for show boots. to show boots. Boot. every time I see Pogba pull off a skill he's trying to impress so he has, he's, he's doing it because he's fanciful so you because about, he can do it so because you, he can do so it exactly I can, I can do this, I can thing, do this thing so and I, I can get away with it so, so you talked about sniping mm. the interesting thing right to, exp- to use that analogy for what we're talking about now is that snipers when you are going on a mission and you put a sniper on the roof the idea is how you take no this thing which now <laughs> I don't, I don't, talk, I don't I want that you you get. Now. <laughs> which now when you, put a, when you put a sniper on the roof the idea is that see the confidence that comes from putting a sniper on the roof, because you know that see, if you if you see if you move, this guy will finish you. Do you understand? <laughs> That's the confidence that comes with putting a sniper, because you know that there's a, there's, there's a lot of understanding that comes with it. So when you now bring that down to you know Pogba love to stick, it's like Pogba is a guy that's a talented sniper. But he's more interested in making people understand that CN. I'm here. I did, I I'm, did, here. I'm on the roof. I'm on the roof. This go where I get but, there. But, if he catch you from. Meanwhile, you get. May God Almighty punish that sniper that was on the roof for instance. <laughs> you get. So yeah, no, I, I second that. Torrenta, I second that. Thank God. May God they punish you. Mute your group. mic. But you get. So it, it's like the guy that just wants to make people know that Omar they here. Yeah. yeah. And this gun where I get. If yeah. he catch if you from catch two, you two that, miles away. Yeah. But you're seeing another guy that's there. He understands the direction of the wind, the speed of the wind. Yep. If you move, I will finish you. You are gone. Fantastic. You understand? Right. right. Well done, I, son. I think, <laughs> well done. I, I heard him analyze Jose and he said dimension. That, no, he was analyzing something. I said dimension of the player. That's the word Jose uses a lot. What Jose's press conferences, <laughs> Jose says dimension a lot. And that's how you know a football guy. He knows his game. Knows his game. So um, I think we, we've done, um, we're done talking about the, the players that have impressed us the most uh, all through the season. Hi there. Thanks for watching us on YouTube. Please leave a subscribe on the channel, The Hindsight Podcast, and also on Instagram at The Hindsight Podcast. It's the same on Twitter as well. Leave a like, a retweet, or a comment. We'll see you soon.